so hi guys um you know what yeah i need to stop doing i need to stop introducing myself in such a cheesy way because i'm actually sick of it i don't know if you're sick of it but i'm sick of it but i can't help but do it i feel like as soon as i go into youtube mode it's like cheese full on like it's so annoying um because i'm not really like well i am like this i'm just like a bit mm. but if you hear clanking and noise like that it's just my blinds because my window's open because it's a bit hot in here but i don't want to take my clothes off um so yeah today we are going to be not we i am going to show you how i package my orders um and things like that for um my business that i previously told you in the last video if you haven't seen it go check it out i'll leave it in the description so you can click on it first it's me launching my business and stuff like that first check that out first click that and then come back to this video but yeah let me take a sip so i have six orders to do so i feel like that's a, a good amount so i'm going to show you how i do it with the first two and then the, the rest i'll just speed up but I'll try and show you as much as possible. Um, sorry I couldn't get the table in. I'll just like handle things up to show you um, and stuff like that. So first things first, um, we are going to look at the orders and guess who found their mouse? I found my mouse. It was, I lost it and I was freaking out because I use it for absolutely everything. Because when I first got my Mac, I was like, how do I use it? Because I had a Toshiba and I was like, how am I supposed to use this without like knowing what all the buttons are and stuff like that? So I'm going to go on my Wix um, and I'm going to go to orders and I'm just going to um, print out the orders that I need to fulfill. So we're on my dashboard on my dashboard and i'm just gonna go to store orders which is in the corner on the left hand side then i'm just gonna highlight so i'm just gonna highlight the orders that are in yellow that are highlighted in yellow those are the ones that aren't fulfilled just yet so oh my gosh i've made 100 orders i haven't even clocked that I just got my first hundred. Hey, well, you witnessed that first hand with me. Ah, look, look at us already sharing moments. Like, come on. If you don't hit subscribe, then you're crazy. Like, you could be literally going through these moments with me, but you know. So, we're going to click all those orders and then we're going to click print. Now, what I like about Wix, whenever I'm printing out my orders and it takes me to the other page, it opens it in, an, in a separate page. So when I do, um, when I'm like doing the uh, the label printing, I can just go to that page and highlight the addresses instead of individually clicking into everyone's order, which is just long and doesn't need to happen. So um, I've got my printer next to me right here. So, oh. I need to connect the wire. Where's the wire? Bear with me a second. Ugh. So, got the wire. Connect it to the lap, the lappy top. Oh, jeez. I don't know what it is. I'm just a bit flustered today. So that's just gonna print that. You can probably hear that going. Let's do a little Shakira, Shakira. So I already got some of the stuff ready that people had ordered um, and stuff like that. But I'm gonna take you through step by step just so that I'm not getting ahead of myself. Um, and I also don't forget anything either. So got my bubble mailers. These are the bubble mailers that I started out with. These, this is a rose gold bubble mailer. And, but the person that I used to get them off, um, I think he just closed down 
for a while but i really needed bubble mailers in that time so i just ordered from another company and i got these holographic ones um don't know how much i love them for my brand i love them so much i love holographic bubble mailers but i don't know how much i love it for my brand personally but we'll see how people like them but i really like these because um it goes with the color of my website and stuff like that but we'll see um it won't be permanent because i've only ordered a few of these so it's okay as long as they get delivered to my customers there's no problem so so all of the they want to let people's addresses out so everyone's i've printed out everyone's um invoices and things like that so we'll just go in order this makes life easier so the first person ordered her name's sadie shout out sadie go sadie go sadie so um i give everyone a business card so these are my business cards yes they're like credit cards bank cards yes they are but you cannot use these these do not have any money on please do not try to put them into an atm so they just say iris lashes and then on the back it's got all the details so the instagram email and website it's on there um i did want them to bit to like have the the pop out details so like if you touch it you can feel the numbers and things like that but um it didn't work out that way when i printed it but i'm not mad because the this is the my first bunch of business cards so there's always time to you know just get new ones and things like that so there's no hard feelings there i still love these two pieces because at the end of the day it's my design it's what i chose and you know you make mistakes and you show growth that's how things work so let me get six out so one two three four five six so six of those are out had a whole little thingy for them um the thing about business cards what was i gonna say i had something like right on the tip of my tongue um i've completely forgotten i do that a lot you know i'm really worried about myself so So on each of the envelopes, I put a fragile sticker um, just so that the mailmen aren't rough and start dashing people's things everywhere. And then people come at me saying I packed their stuff in some mashup way, but I didn't. It would have been the mail people. So I put a fragile sticker on all of my packages just to let people them know, be careful with Iris Lashes products. I think that's six now. Wasn't even counting. Five, six, one, two, three. Yep, yeah, got six. Okay. So the first person ordered, so Sadie, she ordered Flirty. So I have Flirty here ready. It's got the name on the front and all the details on the back. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll get her invoice, then I'll fold it like so, and then I'll put it inside of the bubble mailer. But I put it in that is facing me so that if I just need to double check it, I could just peep inside. And then I put the fragile, the fragile sticker on the inner side because on this side we're going to put the shipping label. So I don't want anything else to interfere with the shipping label. So I'd rather put it on the back. So I put it dead in the middle because I am OCD. Dead in the middle at the bottom. Perfect. So that will stay there for a moment. And then I'm going to get a bag um a drawstring bag mesh bag i'm gonna put in my business card i'm also gonna get one of my thank you cards that i have um i have especially for you and thank you cards i i usually double dabble between the two so it's just says especially for you 
and then I will write on the back. So let me just get out six so I don't have to keep dipping into there. So I just get my pen wherever I placed it. There it is. And then I'll just write, thank you, Sadie and her last name. Don't want to expose it because that's her business. Thank you. My handwriting's not amazing, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like when people personalize things as much as possible, it really makes a difference. Cause like, it's like not everything's just done automated and like you didn't do it yourself. Like I've had hand handwritten this. So I've handwritten, thank you Sadie with two kisses. Um, and then I pop that inside of the bag as well. Then I'll get her lashes, her pair of lashes, and then I'll put it inside of there. But then I'm gonna just organize it so it's all just sitting together. And then I'm just gonna get a spoolie. Um, I, depending on whether the person's ordered one or two lashes, I'll give how many spoolies that you need. So because she ordered one, she gets one spoolie. Um, and I pop it in there just to maintain the lashes because um, she can wear these a whole bunch of times and I want her to be able to maintain them. So that's that already done. It's all packaged and pretty. So pretty. Then I'll pop it in here. I make sure it lays flat because Royal Melt love to act crazy with these large um letters so that so that's all packaged and done then i'm gonna move over to my laptop again because we're gonna go to royal mail and we're going to ship this so i have a weighing scale here because i'll tell you why i have a weighing scale the reason why i have a weighing scale is because with royal mail you have to measure everything that you're selling and because of the fact that everyone always orders a different item every time someone's ordering from me unless it's like the same design of lash because all the different designs of lashes i have they all weigh differently because they've all got different patterns and um more weight of how much lashes was on the band and things like that um and the lip glosses are different weights as well so i have to weigh them every single time unless it's one then and that i know is like oh i know how much that usually weighs then i'll pop it in um, unless I've forgotten, then I'll just weigh it again because it's really not that deep to like weigh it again. So I'm just going to type in um, click and drop. I send my stuff off of click and drop because um, it just saves me going to the post office. Um, yeah, it saves me going to the post office because it's just longer in there um when it's just a, like a quick drop off so i just put this into the post of the post box i'll put this in the post pool. i can't speak i'll put it into the the post box unless it's international then i do have to take it to the post to the actual like um place so i'm just gonna wait for this to go to zero change the unit to grams and then put the package on top and that weighs 33 grams, but I'm gonna put 34 just in case they choose to weigh it again. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of leeway. Um, so I'll click large letter. I know I'm not showing you this, but like, <sighs> it doesn't matter, it's okay. Then I'm gonna click large letter. Um, the screen should look like this because I'm using the, the, the quick pay the quick payment as you can see so i'm using the quick pay so it should look like that and then you'll go to whether you want to send it first class second class so when it comes to the first class second class all of my lashes i will sell them i will send them off in first class the lip glosses i will sell i, I will send them in second class just because of the fact that um the lip glosses cost less so if i pay less for the packaging then it makes the sending the shipping sorry it makes more sense for me profit wise um but because people pay more for the lashes they will get first class delivery unless people have a combination of the lip gloss and everything over 
one lip gloss is first class if it's only one lip gloss it's second class that's just the easiest way to explain it so she'll get first class so then i go back to the page that i was telling you about that has all of my invoices one after the other and i'm just going to basically copy and paste the information it saves me so much time and that's why i love my mouse because i can just do it quickly if i had to do this by hand i swear i'd be crying i would be crying when i send it internationally i have to put my address i wish i didn't have to but i do um just because i just prefer people to not know where i live or know where like about i live um just for privacy sake um okay so the thing about when people put their address right when i put it into to the royal mail website it sometimes gets confused with the the details that people give because there's so many different places that have the exact same name the exact same like similar characteristics so um like for instance just now i did an order for a lady just now for sadie and it's come up with more than one um address but because she's given me a good amount i know exactly which one it is but that's what i would urge people to do to make sure you put the full address i don't care if it's like uh, an extra street or whatever put it on there it just helps me out and helps you out so that you get your package as fast as possible um honestly i don't mind having to type it all in it's not a problem for me so give me the entire address the whole address um, so now it just wants me to put my details in just so that they know who's sending it. Um, I just do this real quick because it's easy. And I always click, um, I do not want my information on the, um, the packaging onto the label, sorry. All my words are just mismatch and all over the place. So... I just clocked something. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So I just want you to put your email address in there and I did that. Then it just asked me to sign into my PayPal because that's how I prefer to pay through PayPal because then PayPal's just safe, you know? Can't get mad at PayPal. So, oh gosh. I think the website's down. Oh, don't do this. I've already done so much of it. So much of this video. Okay, we're having a bit of the technical difficulties. The website is down for Royal Mail. This happened. This has happened to me before. Um, I think it's just I don't know either too many people on the website at the same time, or you know they're just having their own issues. But they're not letting me process it for whatever reason. But um, at least I got to show you how I package my orders and what that involves. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't do all of them for you. Maybe another time when Royal Mail decides to, you know, do better. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm so, so sorry. I'll probably do another video where I finish it off or I'll finish it off and then like attach it to this video. Uh, but for now it's kaput so i'm so 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 sorry um and i love you guys I'm sorry bye
Okay, so it's finally started working again for Royal Mail, but, 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 it only let me do that one, so that's where we're at right now. Um, still Sadie's package, so I'm just, um, it's just, I'm just downloading it now, so it's done my payment confirmation, it's moved me to the next page finally. Um, and mind you, it's like, how many hours later, like, it's dark outside, it was light before, and that's why the light's all, like, stuff, so when I click onto the label, it takes me to the Acrobat Pro DC, so it, that's by Adobe, you know, there's, yeah, let's not get into that, so, now I'm gonna press print, print, so I should print it out now on my printer. Why is it not printing? There it goes. Okay, there it goes. So there is the label and so now we can close that up because there's nothing else that we need to do in there everything is prim proper and good so we take off that in a sticker and fold over the bubble mailer so now that's closed and proper also i like to add i like to add a thank you sticker onto the top because I'm thankful for you guys and I'm thankful for you guys like having an interest in my products so thank you guys right there so I'm um, I like to do it where the label is um this way not this way I like the opening to be on this side for some reason they will ask me why I told you I'm OCD so just peel that off the back and stick it on there. Um, I got these from Amazon, the little sticker things. They come in an A4 sheet, but I cut them into fours because my printer prints off the whole sheet where it says the label and then at the bottom it has the return sticker that's attached to it, but I don't want that because I don't do refunds. So, um yeah so i cut them into fours otherwise it prints the other bit automatically so, so stop that and just print the label you just cut the corner out, out of it so that's the whole package all done all collected and stuff like that sorry i couldn't do all six for you um on on here but i'll do it another time but at least you was able to see how i package one product so then you know you would know what's how I do it and stuff like that but I definitely will do another one this is not going to be the only one that I'll do so you guys don't need to worry about that so yeah bye this is bye bye like properly now I'm really 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 sorry about what happened with Royal Mail um there's nothing I could have done about it but we'll do another video that you'll be able to see what I'm doing properly so check you out in the next video when either I'm doing part two of this or we're talking about something else you never know Bye-bye.